Zero-based budgeting is a budgeting technique in which all expenses must be justified for a new period or year starting from zero, versus starting with the previous budget and adjusting it as needed. Zero-based budgeting is a highly effective business planning tool to help a company identify and eliminate unnecessary costs, keep control of your spending, and focus on high-profit initiatives. Budgeting including zero-based budgeting is the tactical implementation of a company's strategic plan. To deliver the financial and operational goals in the strategic plan, an organization needs to translate its long-range plan into a detailed set of expected revenues and expenses that can be measured to track performance. These can be refined and adjusted along the way to keep the company on track with its goals to achieve the desired business outcomes. Hey there, welcome to the Daytime Dollar, where we talk about financial strategies and how small changes can make big improvements. If you are new here, then subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. Today, we are talking about what is a zero-based budget. So let's get into it. What is zero-based budgeting? Zero-based budgeting originated in the 1960s by former Texas Instruments account manager Pierre Pierre. Unlike traditional budgeting, zero-based budgeting starts at zero, justifying each individual expense for a reporting period. Zero-based budgeting starts from scratch, analyzing each granular need of the company instead of incremental budgeting increases found in traditional budgeting. Essentially, this allows for a strategic top-down approach to analyze the performance of a given project. How Zero-Based Budgeting Works In business, zero-based budgeting gallows top-level strategic goals to be implemented into the budgeting process by tying them to specific functional areas of the organization, where costs can be first grouped and then measured against previous results and current expectations. Because of its detail-oriented nature, zero-based budgeting may be a rolling process done over several years with a few functional areas reviewed at a time by managers or group leaders. Zero-based budgeting can help lower costs by avoiding blanket increases or decreases to a prior period's budget. It is, however, a time-consuming process that takes much longer than traditional, cost-based budgeting. The practice also favors areas that achieve direct revenues or production as their contributions are more easily justifiable than in departments such as client service and research and development. Zero-based budgeting is traditional budgeting. Traditional budgeting calls for incremental increases over previous budgets, such as a 2% increase in spending as opposed to a justification of both old and new expenses, as called for with zero-based budgeting. Traditional budgeting also only analyzes only new expenditures, while zero-based budgeting starts from zero and calls for a justification of old, recurring expenses in addition to new expenditures. Zero-based budgeting aims to put the onus on managers to justify expenses and aims to drive value for an organization by optimizing costs and not just revenue. Example of zero-based budgeting. Suppose a construction equipment company implements a zero-based budgeting process calling for closer scrutiny of manufacturing department expenses. The company notices that the cost of certain parts used in its final products and outsourced to another manufacturer increases by 5% every year. The company can make those parts in-house using its workers. After weighing the positives and negatives of in-house manufacturing, the company finds it can make the parts more cheaply than the outside supplier. Instead of blindly increasing the budget by a certain percentage and masking the cost increase, the company can identify a situation in which it can decide to make the part itself or buy the part from an external supplier for its end products. Traditional budgeting may not allow cost drivers within departments to be identified. Zero-based budgeting is a more granular process that aims to identify and justify expenditures. However, zero-based budgeting is also more involved, so the costs of the process itself must be weighed against the savings it may identify. What are the advantages of zero-based budgeting? As an accounting practice, zero-based budgeting offers a number of advantages including focused operations, lower costs, budget flexibility, and strategic execution. When managers think about how each dollar is spent, the highest revenue-generating operations come into greater focus. Meanwhile, lowered costs may result as zero-based budgeting may prevent the misallocation of resources that may happen over time when a budget grows incrementally. What are the disadvantages of zero-based budgeting? Zero-based budgeting has a number of disadvantages. First, it is timely and resource-intensive. Because a new budget is developed each period, the time cost involved may not be worthwhile. Instead, using a modified budget template may prove more beneficial. Second, it may reward short-term perspectives in the company by allocating more resources to operations with the highest revenues. In turn, areas such as research and development or those that have a long-term horizon may get overlooked. Best Practices for Zero-Based Budgeting Adopt a strategic approach. Zero-based budgeting is more than just slashing costs. It's a necessary step for freeing the resources and funds needed for growth initiatives. Working with a line of business leaders, you can identify overspending and reallocate those resources toward more strategic use.
select the right planning platform. To reap the benefits of zero-based budgeting, modern planning and budgeting software is essential. Cloud-based planning solutions that use AI and machine learning can help managers make data-driven decisions to recommend the best path forward. A planning and budgeting solution should not only be a blank canvas for modeling, but it should also contain planning intelligence and purpose-built capabilities for predictive planning, driver-based budgeting, robust what-if scenario modeling, sandboxing, top-down and bottom-up budgeting, and approvals and workflows as best practices that are readily available. Embrace connected planning. Siloed line of business planning might have sufficed before, but today the focus is on connected and continuous planning across the enterprise. Disruption has become a constant and plans are now made to be changed, refined and adjusted continuously. Successful CFOs are partnering with sales, marketing, HR and operations to make faster decisions using connected, accurate and timely information. In this new world, connected enterprise planning is not just a best practice, it is a necessity. So guys, that's all about today's topic. See you soon in the next video. Goodbye.